So the Prime Minister and the Health Secretary have both fully backed the campaign. Um, and what I've been really grateful for is the engagement of the Chief Midwife for NHS England, who has been working with me, looking at every single trust around the country around how can we change their policies. And I am relieved. We've gone from about over three quarters of trusts having not changed their policies three months after they could have, down to just under a third who still haven't. There are some hospitals that even during the national lockdown in March to June still didn't ban partners from scans or from labour. The Whittington in London didn't have to have shut down once because it didn't have a single COVID outbreak. And the fact is that currently under tier three rules, you can have 15 people from different households go to a wedding, but you can't have one person who's from the same household or bubble who's almost certainly shielding that individual with them for all stages of labour and for scans. That just doesn't make sense. It's not right and it's not fair. And it is unacceptable that some women across the country, like me, are getting the support we need, because actually this isn't just about emotional bonds. It's actually been proven that women and babies have better clinical outcomes when a woman has a partner with them for all of labour. And it's about bringing back that humanity to this, because the start of life should be treated in the right way. And birth isn't some movie where everything goes perfectly.